So what's your feeling then? What's your swing thought? Swing thought is just try and get to about halfway and just make sure that rather than that twisting and throwing my shoulder over, yeah. it's just moving my weight across onto that left foot and then making sure that club head goes out. Yeah, so so if you imagine if you imagine if you imagine then, so just try to keep simple terms, if you imagine pink tea is twelve o'clock. Yeah. Trying to feel as though you're swinging through to sort of to just short of one. So, you know, if we've got twelve o'clock and six o'clock, yeah. Let let's sort of be, you know, seven to one. Seven to one. Okay, let's try and sort of create that 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 vision and that feel, which is trying to make it that little bit easier to but just make sure you get this sort of, you know, into seven. Yeah? Yeah. Keeping that right arm to there. No, that's too, that's it. Because oh. then it started going like up. That was it. It's that's got a it's got to fold in, yeah. Stop. Oh, yeah, that was it. Say that. It folds in. There that's what I'm always pushing. Yeah, out, it wants to go out and away. That's it. To fold ah. into the right elbow. So basically, because the way in which the elbow sits at address, yeah. So it sort of sits upwards. Yeah. And that supports that fold. Now the minute that goes out, the minute it, it, it's got, almost got to go out to fold. Yeah. So because this elbow is in a good position, this can sort of fold very quickly. Yeah. And then encouraging that rotation, and then from there. You can then get into that and push one o'clock. So, so allowing the right elbow to fall, so not feeling like you've got to keep your right arm very locked in the takeaway. Yeah, yeah. the only one that that's that because that's why it goes out and then round because the right arm is sort of so, yeah, staying locked too yeah. early and then it's trying to reroute itself to try and fold. Yeah. So just let it turn and then go through. That's it. And exaggerate that feeling. Yeah. That's a little exaggerated. That's fine. But understand through and then through. That's it. I don't know. That's it. What does that that's, feel like? Because I'm throwing my arms out. Perfect. That's fine. And that's the feeling. We want to exaggerate that feeling because your arms don't want to go there. Yeah, it does, it does feel like I'm trying to... Because what you, I want your arms to throw out this... If you imagine... If you broke your swing, if you broke this area into four, or broke it down to four boxes, yeah. so you've got sort of, you know, across here, and so you've got one, you know, you might have sort of one, two, three, four, okay? Yeah. So what you're doing is you're swinging into box um, three. Yeah. And we want to feel like you're swinging in, into box one. Okay. If you like. So the club's going to come in this box here and through there. What you will typically do is you'll swing into box three, then in, into, into two, and then across into four. Yeah. So you're going to touch four, three of the four boxes. Are you with me? Yeah. So we want to try and control into two boxes. So box three and box one. They're yeah. the only boxes I want to sort of, you know, at this point of exaggeration and trying to, trying to, you know, there's for some golfers, some things come very, very quickly and very easily. Some golfers. Not we've not we made that today. <laughs> some things have. <laughs> yeah. Let's be optimistic. Yeah. Um. So we, I, th I think it's just that understanding. If we can try and control where I know the club's got to be long. So I know it's got to be in three and one, and it can't go sort of three, two, four. So yeah. it stays in, so in the downswing, it stays in three, and then from three, it goes then into box one. So and then it's club. through box one, and then from there, then it'll carry on round, and then there's no more boxes up here. Boxes are all on the floor basis. That's good. That's it. And the hardest thing for most golfers is when my problem is to go left. Yeah. Sorry, when I when I slice it, which makes the ball go more right, players tend to be more nervous about swinging right because they think, well, I'm already eating it right. I don't want to go more to the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's the way spin works. It's all in opposites. Yeah. If I'm swinging across a ball, I'm putting left to right spin on it where I want to reverse it. Yeah. Think about kicking. You know, think about your driver being your foot. Yeah, if I yeah. put a football, you might not have to be great at football, but if I put a football down on the ground now, and said, all right, okay, I want you to start inside the right-hand trees and bring you back to the middle, you wouldn't swing, your foot wouldn't go sort of three, one, uh, three, two, four, no. do you know what I mean? You would swing from box three out that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your club as a whole is, is a foot kicking a ball around a wall. Spin is spin for any ball, do you know yeah. what I mean? It doesn't matter what the ball is, what, what the tool is. At the end of the day, I've got a straight point here, and I've got my arm, my, 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 my shaft is my leg, so if I come across it, which is what we'll tend to do, in fact, what we would do is we pull my leg back and then I'm coming over the top like that. That's what's happening. I think is it there. Yeah. So that's, in essence, what my arms are doing 
with the club being my, my foot. Yeah, so yeah. We're going to try and change that spin and, and obviously then the connection on the ball, I've got to think of it as as that motion. Yeah. And that's all it is, you know, and I, I say that's all it is. It's, it's not all it is, because if it was that easy, yeah. everyone, you know, most it's, common fault is this problem with golf. So, so I'm just going to do it slow again, because yeah. it's trying to get it in my brain like. Yeah. So, making that's sure it. that right arm stays in, yeah, but then that's it. And then from it there, comes down, you're right? in box three. Just let, let let that. There you go. That's it. Because there you go. See up. So to, to get there, yeah. But you got to appreciate, just past impact, the ball is still on the club head. So the, where that club is there, yeah. Right, the ball hasn't left the club. The ball doesn't leave the club till it's sort of through here. Got ya. So if I if I've got to get that club coming into this point, yeah. And then it's there. The ball now it's straight, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it carries on around. So when the ball leaves the club, the, the club is down the fairway. Hey, can I make that? Because it does feel like my hands are there, but then on my hands are over here. Yeah, so you're into at impact, you, you're connected. Yeah. And then as I'm going through, I'm sort of going through up and round. So it's up and round. So I'm going through up and round. It's almost like, you know, that forearm tennis shot. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, I wouldn't sort of. That's a slice shot. Yeah. I want to go up, out, and, and round. So I'm, I'm sort of into three, through yeah. to one, and then I'm up. And that, 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 that motion, that mindset isn't just for golf. It's for it's cross sports. You know. Yeah, yeah. Football, it could be tennis. It could be many different things that I'm trying to. That's it. Good. We've just got to avoid. By all it for you really, we've got to avoid box two. Yeah. Pushing that out. Yeah. And well, you, yeah, you, 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 I mean, to be fair, on, on the videos we saw, we didn't see a lot of takeaways in box two. Yeah. So box takeaway is not so much problem. It was the downswing saw two to four. Yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? That was that massive yeah, over that's, there. Yeah, that's what it is, yeah. So to be fair, going back was always in, in three. I was happy with that. But from there, it still then wanted to kind of go, go that way rather than allowing it to sort of stay into three, keep the club behind me a little bit. And then I can sort of pass it, pass it through, really. Yeah. All right. Good. Let's roll, puppy dog. Yeah. So, so you should, well, I, I wouldn't even go nine iron to be fair, because what you've got to consider is 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 these these trees. You don't necessarily need to go ultra safe. Yeah. And and you know we want to be just left of the post, but yeah. there's no need getting any elevation at all. So I'd probably just use like your five iron. Because if we can get it a little bit further down as well, without having to hit it any harder, yeah, it's not a bad lie, so we've not got to dig it out. And just going to play it like that chip we do, where we sort of tow it down, stand tall. Yeah. That's it. And just sort of aim just left of the post, because the ground's going to slope round to the right. So just get that, so it looks like you're a bit twisted. So get the ball a bit more forward in your stance. That's it. Shuffle across a bit more. That's better. Good. And then again, just, just a little bit of weight forward. Just swing your arms backwards and forwards. Okay, just needs a bit more. Got to hit it though. Yeah. It's a bit stiff still. Still feels as though, as an observation, it always looks rigid. hard. Yeah. It's like re really rigid, really like tense. Just, just literally sort of. Because I'm hard. Because you're hard, yeah. <laughs> you're hard. <laughs> you wish to soft. So, right. So, just trying to make everything tall. feel like even with the arms that are dressed there. And then loose mitts. So just aim a little bit more left. That's better. And then just nice and steady. Just let it go. That's better. You you want to form the tension in the movement. So what if if the analogy I normally use with golfers is if starting with tension is like starting with cramp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, cramp in essence is a muscle, spa muscle spasm where it's tense yeah. enough, okay? It makes it very awful, awkward, and uncomfortable to, to move. Yeah, yeah. Now, starting with tension in a setup is like starting with cramp, and I'm going to try and make that move effectively. It's not going to happen. Yeah. So, so in essence, the more relaxed I am at a dress, yeah. the more that allows for effective movement. But naturally, when you move the muscle, that's when it tightens. So I can't... It's very difficult to effectively tighten a muscle that is already tense yeah. or overly tense. Is that you when, I, when I'm 
really like yeah, that. So, so chest comes in, shoulders yeah. round off, and then I try and yeah, and then, and then it's jabby because yeah. I've got no, I've got no flow, and and that that carries even to shorter shots like this, you know. So yeah, in, in essence, it's not just on long shots, you know. Again, it's all about being soft, being relaxed, just. Relaxed enough, where uh, you know I've got I've got hold of the club. I don't need to be tight. Oh, well, not hold. I, mean, I don't no, need to hold it. I need to, you know, yeah, I need to hold the club, not grip the club. And yeah. you know, again, it's always that play on words. You know, yeah, you yeah. wouldn't you wouldn't grip a, a baby bird in your hands. You know no, what I mean? No. You'd hold it. Brother, and you know, we hear a lot, and I know it's a chip out, but we hear a lot about feel and feeling golf, and yeah. you know, I can't create feel. It's, it's, if I'm so tight in my hands, which then leads into forearms, to shoulders, biceps, triceps, chest, etc., and it spirals out. So a lot of tension starts from probably the hold in the club. You don't start tense legs yeah. generally. No. You know, so a lot of it tends to come. A lot of tension about, starts from the hands. It's, it's always about. It's just about being in the right position, but nice and light. And then, then I can form a tension through movement yeah. rather than you know holding on for dear life. <laughs> like a firm grip, pal. <laughs> so, so here now we don't we, we so making sure so things like this can come out can you remove them yeah i thought you all had touched you them. can it's you can move that because it's, it's it's a movable object okay so you can move that because now it's in your place because it's there to help you yeah to give you a distance not hinder you so so now for me you know yes we don't want to be too greedy but we don't want to have to chip out just sideways so i can try and get it a little bit further down yeah and leave myself sort of 50 60 yards to go yeah so so your line really is just over this corner yeah, yeah. We're going to just get it a bit further down, chasing down there. A nice relax, and then just a little bit of a thump down, so short back, thump it through. Good, perfect. Spot on. So now you've got yourself down onto the flat. Nice little shot. You're not then sort of looking at the post in your way, thinking, oh, don't hit the post, because that's yeah, the psychology. Yeah. Again, a lot of people don't know that they can do these things. It's yeah, yeah. Obvious, I don't, I don't, really obvious, but for a newer golfer, yeah. they just they, think it's a part of the furniture and wouldn't even look. That's so, been there now. That would have been on my brain thinking, go with the post, go yeah. with the post. Yeah. And, then, and you'd have jabbed it. Yeah, yeah. Or, or even not played as good a progressional shot as you can. That was amazing. So you struck it better, lot, lot, looked a lot more relaxed. Yeah. And then, you know, like anything, just make sure you put it in. And, and I'd even say... You know, if that was, you know, a further 10 paces down from you. Yeah, yeah. Take it out. Make the effort. Get it out the eye line. Do you know what I mean? Get it out of your mind because, we you know, this game's enough in the head anyway. Yeah, yeah. So take these things out of your mind. Yeah. So that you can enjoy executing the shot. Yeah. Without, free from thought. What would you use? So you've got, you've got, you've got wet, wet surface. Yeah. Um, quite an open, open ground, open fly. Uh, open approach, sorry. Yeah. Um, the lie's good, although although we've we you know we've now because of, it's been so wet we've preferred lies are back on, so we're we you know we've had to apply for permission from County Golf to allow us to put preferred lies. So back, preferred lies are now allowed again on on closely mown. So yeah, yeah. you know always take advantage of that. So even so even if it wasn't closely mown I'd still play the same shot. Yeah. Um, again because the greens are quite wet still, you know. Depend on the level level of the golfer. So for you, I'd probably look at more of a controlled. I think you've got um, an A wedge, a uh, gap wedge. So the A wedge there so is about 50. Is it? 50, I've got 52. 52. 52 is good here. Yeah. And we're looking for like a nice control sort of again that feel. So so sort the of halfway back, halfway through, committing to the shot. We know that when the ball lands on the green, it isn't going to go far. Yeah. As long as I've connected on it well. Yeah. Okay, so feet are generally a little bit closer together for this shot. Have a little practice swing just to get a feel for the shot. So that's it. Keep the legs nice and relaxed, not too much movement in the lower body. So it's a lot more sort of upper body, that's it. And just that feel again, just feel the club back and through. Just yeah. keep it nice and centered. So I don't need to move off the center. That's it. And as I go through, let myself go through with the club. So just almost as if I'm throwing the club through to the target. Good strike. Yeah, just wanted a bit more. Connection was good. I think that's more 
and not knowing what it what it does. Yeah. I think the line of the divot's pretty good. The divot's pretty much at our target, which is good. Uh, what do you reckon? Just a normal wedge. wedge yeah. Bump and run, though, still. Yeah. I'm not right in thinking, just aim a better foot off that white post. Yeah, so again, better. you know, for me, that could become a distraction to move it. I've seen, do you know the amount of times I've left all them in? Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's just opened up that beautiful like yeah, so no, now. So now that. you're not trying to avoid something unnecessarily. So, you know, it's, it, they're there for a purpose, but they are movable, so you can you can move. Do you know them. that marker? That marker? Any any markers? Yeah, yeah. You're allowed to shift them as long as you put them back, obviously. Absolutely. As long as yeah. Entire penalty. Not 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 these sorts of markers now, because they're there to help you. Got ya. No one free. <laughs> so you you know your folk. I don't know if you need to go as far off. I, I think your line is sort of in here somewhere. Yeah. Which is, I mean, if you think where that marker was, was here, I think. So, I oh know it was a bit further up. Not bad, it very long swing, but yeah, a bit too much. Yeah, good, good strike. Yeah, good strike. So take your flag out from that distance. Hey, come. So think about the size of the hole. Yeah. So when the flag's in the hole, what does it do to the size of the hole? Reduces it. Makes it smaller, doesn't it? So if a ball comes in with a little bit of speed, yeah. It's going to ricochet off the off the off the flag. Got you know. The chances is it might hit the back of the hole and go in. Drop in. So if you're just off centre, yeah, with a bit of speed, you'll have a ricochet, so it won't go in. Yeah. So for me, my my kind of, I tend to work on a bit of a rule of thumb personally, and I, I say this to all my players is, you know, for me anything sort of twenty foot and in flag is out. Yeah. Because if it's travelling too far at that speed at twenty foot, it's probably not going to go in anyway. Yeah. But for me, I want that hole to look as big as possible. Yeah, and the constant. minute I whack, you know, if you if you look there from there now, you can sort of see, you know, nice big white right hole, you know, as such. Now all of a sudden here, the hole looks smaller. Yeah. Because all you can now really focus on is that area. Yeah, yeah. Which is pretty much just under a width of a ball. Yeah. So in essence, you've got a width of a ball, width of a ball, width of a ball, and that's non-existent here. Yeah, yeah. So now all of a sudden, I you can book fit it. five balls in there in essence. Yeah. <laughs> from the side, so now it looks like a bucket. So. So I'm aiming about eight, eight inches off that hole. Thereabouts. I reckon you want to be about here. What's that? Is that, is that looking? Yeah. Good. Don't whack it though. Well, there's a bit of a whack. <laughs> Your first push of the day, is Craig. I've Lots been enjoying my pushing, to be fair. Lots of firsts today. <laughs> first day back, first put, first drive. <laughs> I'm a plumber, Craig. I've got every excuse in the book. <laughs> my 27 so years. So of... now I would have flag in. Oh, you would? Because you're outside that 20 foot. So your line is probably somewhere up here. Yeah. Better. Better roll. Good. I'll go and grab the other one. Just the excel. Good line though. Come on, knock that one in. That was your first one. Always clear your line. 
Do you know what I'm looking for that, Craig? Oh, yeah. Yeah. If there's a leaf or there's something on there, Get rid and of I it. leave it, and then the ball goes over it and kills yeah, me. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> if it's on your line, what do you reckon here then? I am thinking, yeah. So does a brawl break more uphill or less uphill? So in Breaking. terms of borrow, would it, it have more borrow up a hill or less borrow up a hill, do you think, than if it was downhill? More. Less. Because the downhill, you're likely to hit it softer on you. Yeah. So uphill, you're going to give it a little bit more pace, so the ball's going to run through the brake a little bit more. Yeah. So if you, if you, let's say if you've got like this put directly the opposite side and yeah. the slope's the same, because this one's downhill where that one's uphill, this one you're going to hit more more soft, it so therefore it's going to take the borrow more. So when you come back the other way, it wouldn't necessarily break as much. So because you're going to be a little bit more firm uphill, you'd allow for a little less borrow because you because of the pace the ball's travelling through the borrow. Good put, good pace, good put. Tough put that. Not a great, not a great uh, pin position that one. It's uh, it's easy to three four put from there. Yeah. Got one off on that put, but around this green. So on this one, yeah, we do everything we can to keep that swing in that box. Okay, so three and one, yeah. Three and one. Three and one. Make sure that so, shoulder. You know, in. if you imagine a a visibly a line here, yeah, and a line here, and the line there, and the line there. Okay. Yeah. That's those two boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the swing short back and just bomb it through those two boxes, mate. Okay. So that's a much better strike. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we can work on the fact that it's gone straight right, but the fact that I haven't chopped across it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, potentially we need to adjust the aim on the hole. That's a warmed up. <laughs> That's his second shot. <laughs> That's his second, his second shot. <laughs> because I mean, to be fair, where we are, I mean, we are. We would be. I'm, I'm not worried about that on here. I'm more concerned about getting rid of that coming over the top. I tell you so, what, why I always come on lev levitate? No, it makes sense. It's because I've got that. Draw well, I would anybody for anybody because naturally, unless you naturally hit a massive draw, yeah, it opens up the hole. But but what I would do is, in essence, my my square box at the minute is based on the square line here, which doesn't necessarily mean it's right. My yeah. square line might be actually at that angle. Yeah. So my box would be relevant to my body. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. For the purpose of what we're trying to do here, um, for me that shot was a better strike. It was hit on the up. There was no curvature on it. No, no. Dead. So, yeah. you know, whilst I appreciate it's not in the middle of the fairway... Are you admitting you've drawn the uh, lines wrong, then? I, I, I drew the lines based on where you started. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. It's always someone to blame. There is, mate. So, so just feeling... Just... Nice, nice and Box left. three... ...to one. Oh, not quite. You jumped at that. You went for a bit. You again, know. it got a bit long again. Got to just, it's got to stop there. When your hand yeah. hit your shoulder. There uh, should be one more somewhere. Have you got one? Um, got one in your pocket, haven't you? Or you just please see me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Them days are gone, pal. <laughs> That's why it's that low. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, it needs sorting. This is going to be the one this has. That is perfect. So, short back, and then short back into box three, and then through into one. So, oh, nearly. Just jumped at it a bit. Keep jumping. Yeah, just come and still come a little bit across it. Option one is super simple. Yeah, that's simple what I'm going for. So yeah. that's, that's option one. Option two is a lot more challenging, which when you're looking at all your options, you're looking, you know, you're kind of forward planning. Yeah, yeah. So you're looking at your next shot rather than the shot just right now, really. So the danger is as much as you could execute that one, you've got to make sure you get it far enough out there 
because then you've got the next batch of trees further up where they're overhanging. Yeah. Where at least if you've got one sort of into the middle of the ferry, you can then progress with another five iron down. Yeah. Depending on my situation, a lot of people, I mean, we can go back to our fairway, that's no problem. Um, there are sometimes situations where I would pay it down another fairway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people think, oh, I don't, I don't think it's right to play down. It's absolutely right if it's going to give you a better shot yeah, yeah. your next shot. So, you know, there are sometimes where, you know, it might be if I was here, for example, Yeah. well, that side isn't an option there, so I'm going almost backwards, so I'm actually negative yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, distance on my shot. So I might think, well, actually what I'll do is when we five and I'll bump it out to almost the black and white post in the distance on the last fairway. Yeah. And then come over. Because yeah, yeah. at least I'm going 50, 60 yards forward than negative going 20. Back. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, so you know, it's always about a lot of people rush into shots and they've kind of already made the decision when they're in it. Yeah, they yeah. don't do in a full assessment of the environment. So assess the environment. Lie is number one. Yeah. Because that'll determine how you can execute the shot. Is it sitting well? Is it not sitting well? So once I've got my lie, I look for like, you know, and I kind of go easy, medium and hard. What are my options? And what are the benefits of taking on the hard? Yeah. If there's no real benefit, there's no benefit. Do you know what I mean? So for me, that's my easy that's, shot. That, well, that's, that's, that's super easy. And, and yeah. to be honest, you know, hard would almost be you'd really got to get it out there. So for yeah. me, I'd probably say the risks far outweigh the benefit yeah. in that scenario. And that there, I don't think is really necessary because I'm, I'm not going to gain that much more going that way because then, then I've got to come over the trees. So I'm actually then making my next shot hard. Yeah. So although that's not a hard shot, I'm making my next shot hard where yeah. this one I'm not necessarily making. So, because if I played out that black and white pole, yeah. Then I'd be mindful of how far I am, and then trying to get over the trees. Yeah, well, but if that was the only option to get some yeah. direct distance advantage, then yeah, I would yeah, yeah. play that option. Because you know, morning. morning. You okay. Obviously, you've got the laser that you don't use would help you to, <laughs> yeah. to figure out how them <laughs> yeah. are. You come out three times in a day, did it? Yeah, with you. So I think. Oh yeah. So I think this is the right option, just to the left. That one. Middle of the fairway, just nice. Should we try the odd one? We'll go for it. Yeah. So normally the answer is aim at a tree and you'll miss it. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if, you, if, you, if you aim to miss the tree, you're more yeah. likely to miss it. But, but your line really is probably that to the purple, the, tree, to the the purple tree. Yeah. Yeah. And be positive with the thumb through. So again, it's not a big backswing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's it. Get in that position. Grip down it a little bit. Give yourself a bit of control. Good. Stand a little bit closer to compensate the fact that you've gone down the grip. Feet close together. Oh, yes. Yeah, you're sorry. not playing like a full wallop. So, and then just good control of the arms. Keep them relaxed. Remember to feel short back, kick through. Good. There you go. In fact, that was the easy option. <laughs> <laughs> no. I play. I still get that way out. I think, I think as you get better, I mean, I wouldn't see that as an option. I'd it have is seen that. Confidence, aid. yeah. I'd have seen that as the option. Yeah, for yeah. For me, as as a player. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. And and for a lot better because now, you know, you're probably hundred yards up. Yeah. Because that shot, if you was playing with somebody, yeah. I wouldn't take that shot on because I know in the back of my mind I'd be thinking, don't the tree, don't yeah. this. I'm going to stuff it. But you've also got to. I think I think that's looking at, at, at as a half full perspective rather yeah. than. You know, the way I would tend to look at it, look at the size of the ball, yeah. look at the size of the gap. Yeah, yeah. You know, in essence, it's more, it's skill, more, skills, more skill set shit. But the skill set is level, but I think almost held back by confidence and, like yeah, you said, that ability to see it as not see the problem first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, actually, you know, in, in the grand scheme of things, that's that's quite a big gap. Yeah. Because if I went and held the ball in that gap, I can, I've got loads of oh, room. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And bearing in mind, I've only got to hit it probably not even 10 paces to get past the first tree. Yeah. And then I'm almost in the clear. Yeah. It's confidence, ain't with every shot? Yes, of course it's confidence, but it's, you know, because <sighs> you hit it so straight, you don't get a lot of practice at them. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're thinking, you probably diverted straight to five iron, ain't you? I have. Of course you have, because you're of a distance away. Yeah, yeah. Rather than thinking about your next shot. I'm just getting back into that. So it's back into, right, you know, I'm, I'm 200 yards away, Five iron's my longest club, so therefore I'm going to hit my longest club and bomb it as far down as I can. With no thought on well, watching what would I like my next shot to be. You know, no, you know, what, what, you know, in an ideal world, because you've got your devices, you're going to go, right, okay, I've got 200 yards, yeah. great. So I actually, if I hit my five iron well, it might go, 
you know, 150, 160, 170, whatever it does. There's, you know, a lot of people hate when I hear people say, well, you know, there's this benchmark number of how far a club goes. Yeah, yeah. In my opinion, a lot of people don't really know how far the clubs go and they get despondent if the 5 iron only goes 150 yards straight. Well, you know, so you know, it goes it's as far as it goes. Yeah, yeah. There is yeah. no, there's no benefit to hitting it x y or z as long as you're in control and it goes the same every time who gives a damn yeah yeah, yeah. do you know what i mean so that's that's the, that's the strike out of distance any day of the absolutely. week absolutely so yeah. but so i'm in a position where actually i i'm you know par five i've played two shots i've had to play a, a career recovery shot which you've done <laughs> so now i don't want to let it down by then trying to hit a five iron as far as i can thinking i've got to get it as close to the green as possible yeah so so you know we want to kind of go to a club i feel confident with you know we want to leave ourselves around 100 yards you know, we, we are you are better when you've got a fuller shot. Yeah, yeah. So I, either a chip around the green, which is great, or I've got a fuller swing, generally, with an iron. When you're kind of in that mid-distance, probably not your strength. So you probably want to leave yourself somewhere like a full pitching wedge, nine iron, something like that, yeah. gap wedge, whatever that might be. So, so you know, you, you probably only want to hit, because you want this quite a narrow neck shot. Yeah. Trees on the right, trees on the left. Um. You know, you probably want to think, well, okay, if I hit 7-9 and that goes, there's a little bit of wind against us as well. So if I hit a 7-9 it goes 120. Yeah. That's going to leave myself about 100 yards in. If I hit my 5 on well and I've got, it leaves me 65 to 70 yards. Yeah, yeah. I'm in, a, I'm in, a, in an area I don't really know well enough because I'm an amateur golfer. I don't practice those shots. That's what happens for a lot of amateur golfers. The 5 iron so, is my best iron now. Okay. That's one I love the most. It's probably because you get it out everywhere. Yeah, it is. It's, so you know, other irons don't get a chance. Chip in there, yeah. you told me how to chip with it. So let, let's. I, I'd like to sort of. Well, let's hit your five iron and see where it goes, and then and then yeah. we can probably sort of say right, okay, okay. If you've hit it well, great. And then we'll leave us that distance. We could also play a seven iron, um, yeah. and then let's see what that leaves you, and and then you know just sort of put it into practice really. So same feeling. Put it out of them trees. Okay, so where's your divot going? Way over that way. Okay, so there's, so you've gone box. Yeah. Yeah. So your boxes are always your boxes. So let's let's try and get that again. Let's. I think you've really got to focus on that that box idea, that that path. That was your divot. A bit of grass. Bit of grass. Oh, sorry, mate. Tracking the course, you know. I'm falling back to that of the top job, you know, we know. Yeah, so you just try, try and get back that feeling of of that into out, one, uh, you know, three to one. Yeah. That's a quality strike, that is. Okay. Good shot. And bounce it back into the middle. Quality strike. Much better. Is that my hair? Yeah. So a little bit less left, which is good. So you're always going to see a slightly left divot because you're on an upslope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because an upslope is going to drag it round. But when you consider, if I just borrow your club. Oh, sorry, mate. So if you consider where your seven iron divot is, compared to uh, five iron divot, apologies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see fucking, you know what I mean? And that's more than me because I'm going back into that. Yes, exactly that. Uh, three to four. Over it. Yeah. Right. So, so two, two, three two to three four. To four sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So now let's see who's got who's right, eh? Jim right. Are you gonna have a walk down and see who's right? <laughs> Jim right on, yeah. <laughs> I'm just a mere uh, muppet golfer. Exactly what you said had happened. <laughs> So, perfect position with the five iron, <laughs> as we said. As, we, as you said. Just because you like using it that much, you're going to have to use it again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we say again. So the problem we've now we've got, and we said back down there in the tree, it's all about lie. Yeah. So, to, to be fair, it's sitting a little bit down here. Yeah. So that, because it's sitting down, so you're not allowed to push the ground down, unfortunately. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, first the ball day. will always yeah, first day back. <laughs> um, the ball will fly at lower anyway. Yeah. So in essence, 
something like a lie like that with a little bit more grass around it, something like a seven iron will come out like a five iron. All right. Just because of the way in which the ball's lying. Yeah. So we just need that little bit more loft because the danger is there's this little rise in front of you here. Yeah. So there's this little bit of a, a, an increase of land here. And then naturally we've got that T in front of us there, which we've got to make sure we get over there and past, in essence, that tree in front of us. So we've got to get it to where you can see that like, sort of whitey, pinky blossom over yeah, there. Yeah. That's our line. So we just need that little bit more loft just to give us that little bit more elevation because of the line. Now, if the ball had been sat more proud, so yeah. if I just grab another ball, so let's just say the ball was sat more here. Yeah. Then five iron is not an issue. Because you've got the clearance. Because I've got the clearance in behind. I know I've got a bit more loft, but here it's a little bit more uh, unpredictable, to be honest. So, so just that little bit more loft, it's going to give you the same. So treat it exactly the same. Same yeah. commitment to the shot, down it. Seven iron. Yeah. Same effort. That's fine, good, doubt, far enough. So again, whereas with the five iron, again, that's, the lie wasn't great. The five iron just wouldn't have got any height. Nah, so, just, you know, arguably... Well, I fairly made the lip the, made Yeah, the, I mean, arguably, you know, we could have got even with more loft if yeah. we wanted to, you know what I mean? So going from a five iron all the way down to something like a nine or pitch might have been a bit radical for you to understand. But yeah. that said, it just shows you the lie is a key influence. Not, so it's not just, oh, I'm chipping out, I'm always going to now divert to five iron. In the case, you've got to think about the lie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What is the lie going to do to the to the to the connection? Yeah, yeah. What does that then mean in terms of trajectory? So if it's sitting up higher, I'm going to more likely to connect better. Therefore, it's going to pop up higher. So I want the loft down to keep yeah. it lower. Whereas because it's sitting down, I'm not going to get so high up the grooves of the club. Therefore, it's going to come from the bottom of the club at best. It's and going it's to going scuttle through. Play yeah. it low. Absolutely. A one position. Uh, With the seven iron, I made to add. <laughs> yeah. Convert lies as well. Oh, so there's 100, 100 yard mark. 100 yards there. So, so it's 100 yards. I'm pretty sure I mentioned 100 yards back there as if I knew what I was talking about. <laughs> did. This is Craig's ball. Uh, anybody, yeah. Uh, Point position. If anybody Not knew what I was doing. So 100 yards, you know, it's, it's a nice steady what wedge for you, pitching wedge? Yeah. Uh, or a 52. I think a nice steady wedge. Yeah, nice no, I'm, I'm giving what you say, buddy, because I... Uh, but just a nice controlled swing, you know. Now you're gaining a bit of feel. So again, just thinking about that swing path again, like we just did on the seven iron shot to here. So three to one. Three to one, yeah. I feel like, I feel like I'm going to be like Dusty Bing. <laughs> three to one. Three to one. Come on. Oh, okay. It. Yeah, bladed it. Just come out of it. Go on, we're going to the one. Great line. But just yeah. So again, three to one. Just keep on the shot. Just trust yourself. Just wait for it to happen. Really good. Really good strike. Very good. Stay down on the shot. Bit of editing on that one. Is that Medi? Yeah. Perfect. Good shot. So this one here, I'd probably go with a little bit more, like yeah. Fifty-eight. Yep. Yeah. If that's a bit too much, no. 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 Lovely. Same again. Same, same. Comes there, comes that. <laughs> oh, I've left the weight just fall out there. I'll go and fetch it in a minute. Right, so. so. A little bit down the grip, just, and then a bit closer to cob, just like that. And a little bit of weight forward, good. And a nice halfway back, three to one again, just stay over the ball. Okay, not bad, still quite a long swing, if I'm honest. Yeah. Decent connection. Oh. Okay, just got to get a feel of how far back to swing it. I didn't want to go with past hip height, really. So just want to go to sort of just, just hip height, really, mate. So get the club parallel to the ground. Like that, yeah? That's it, hip height for the swing then. So some bit of that. Yeah, that's it. You can just feel it, let it happen. Good. I'd never used that in my life. Yeah. I'd be thinking I'd either blade it out the back or it'd just pop up and end up. Yeah, well you it won't pop up so much because you're not hitting it full. So naturally the harder you the shot, the higher it will go. 
yeah. as long as you assume you collect it prop uh, connect on it properly yeah yeah, yeah. because the faster the club's traveling if you imagine the more spin it gets and the more up it goes and not so much forward yeah. um because we are only kind of playing a sort of field shot so there's a lot less speed a lot less power going into it the ball will pop up a little bit but it's not going to pop up to the level yeah you would uh, you would think it is so again you could leave your flag in here yeah because you're outside that distance it just you know it's where it's where confidence changes so now we're distant having the flag in just gives me the confidence that i've got a bit of a barrier yeah or, or something to, to stop it but when i'm within that kind of what i would say more realistic holdable chance yeah i don't want that barrier then in situ because i want that hole to it look to, as big as possible exactly that i'll clean your line for you oh shit. sorry mate no no it's all right i know i'm paid for <laughs> don't, don't like Craig. You're my best pal. <laughs> that is it. Is that just lazy either? It is a bit lazy, yeah. I mean, um, I know a lot of people might say, oh, why bother? It's slowing the game down. Oh, and, and, and you know what? I'm not here. You know, a lot of PJ pros do get criticised for for making people do too many practice swings, blah, 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 which, which to a degree I agree with. But, you know, there are certain things I think you've got to, got to do. Okay, so, you but you tugged it, so the stroke wasn't, was again, it was, it was your, you know, it's, it's quite interesting that even there on a the putt, you still make the same concept swing, yeah, yeah. yeah. So again, just feel like you're sort of, you know, again, you're, you're sort of, you know, you're there and then you're through. Don't, don't tug it round, swing through it, push through. That's it. Oh, should I? Well, yeah, but the concept is you naturally want to pull round on the shot. Yeah, doing. Yeah, even with the putter. So the same you put then. So your line wants to be just inside that ball. So where do you feel that's aiming? That now is aiming. Yeah, in line that ball. Well, to the okay, left yeah, side. Yeah, I agree. Are your feet level to that? That's better. Now that's better. So now you want to swing to a slight arc. So pull that. Let that putter pull in, and then push through. There you go. Was not. Imagine, yeah. But what we all tend to do is naturally when when you tug it, you're going to create more force, which is yeah. why it's quite a lot more more difficult. So even in, even I've never now yeah, even in the putter. There. Yeah, yeah, I could see it's massively on that button. Yeah. It's more notable from distance because there's a longer stroke. Yeah.